We want to perform the indicated operation, which is division. To do division of fractions, we flip and multiply. So we'll leave our first fraction, but then we flip the second fraction over to make the operation multiplication. But before we multiply, we'll want to factor each numerator and denominator as much as possible in order to see if there's any common factors we can cancel. For instance, here, x squared minus 1 is the sum and difference of the square roots. Here we have difference of or sum of cubes, which would be x plus the cube root of 27, which is 3, x squared minus 3x plus 3 squared, which is 9. Here we'll have, for the denominator, we can factor this out. Actually, I don't see any factors of 9. They're going to work to factor that one, x. So let's factor this numerator first. We can always come back to that one. That would be x minus 1 and x minus 1. So, so far we can see that we can cancel a common factor of x minus 3 out. I'm sorry, x minus 1 out. A, and now we can see that there's a common factor here of actually x squared minus 3x plus 9. No wonder I couldn't factor it because it's going to cancel with this entire factor up here. So what that's going to leave in the numerator is x plus 3 and x minus 1 as the two factors left in the numerator. And in the denominator we'll have an x plus 1 that's left.